So this is the bullish kicker candlestick pattern here and we're going to go through the steps of how you can identify this candlestick pattern on your charts and talk about the confluences that you can use in order to trade using this candlestick pattern and in the end we're going to go through examples on the chart so that you can understand it completely. Hey guys welcome back so today in this video we're going to talk about bullish kicker candlestick pattern. This candlestick pattern is a bullish trend reversal pattern. So the trend prior to this candlestick pattern will be bearish and after the formation of this candlestick pattern, the trend will go in the bullish direction. This candlestick pattern contains two candlesticks and here are the rules or the steps of how you can identify this candlestick pattern on your charts. So let's go through these steps. The first step is that the first candlestick should be a big bearish candle the prior candles, candlesticks should also represent the downtrend on the price chart. So as I just said that this is a bullish trend reversal pattern. So the candles before the candlestick pattern will be in the bearish direction. So the first candle in this candlestick pattern is a big bearish candle. As you can see here that this candlestick opens up here and goes all the way down with and forms a long body and closes here. So this candlestick has small shadows but long body. Okay, now let's talk about the second step, which is that the second candlestick will open with a gap up and will close above the high of the previous bearish candle. So as you can see here, this is the second candlestick and the first candle closed here. Okay, now the second candle opened with a gap up. This is the gap in the market. So here, this candle, the second candle opened inside the body of the first candle. As you can see here, that this opened up here and it closed above the high of this bearish candle as you can see here so the second candle also has a long body and small shadows so it represents a big bullish move or a big bullish candle and now after the formation of this candlestick the pattern is complete okay if you have detected these two candlesticks in this manner then the pattern is complete and now the trend will start to move and now the bullish trend will start from here so if we compare it to the natural phenomenon if you see in the football game Whenever the ball is coming in the downward direction or in the towards the player, what player does is he kicks the ball, okay? And after the kick, the ball moves up again in the upward direction. So the, here we can c compare this or give an analogy of this bearish trend uh, as the ball coming downward. And with this gap up, the market has kicked or the buyers have, have come in with a big momentum. That's why there is a gap in the upward direction. So after the kick the bullish trend starts from bearish and the trend converts from bearish to bullish so this is how you can compare it with the natural phenomenon. and in order to increase the chances of this candlestick pattern winning you can add the confluences and those confluences can be support or a demand zone and also an oversold zone where the rsi value is below 30 okay so now let's go through the examples of this candlestick pattern on the chart and here you can see that so here is the bullish kicker candlestick pattern as you can see that the first candle is a long bodied bearish candle and the trend prior to this candlestick is also in the bearish direction and then second candle opens inside the body of the first candle and then closes above the high okay so these two candlesticks are forming the bullish kicker candlestick pattern and this candlestick pattern is complete okay and after the formation of this candlestick pattern, as you can see, the prior trend was bearish. And after the formation of this candlestick pattern, the bullish trend started. Well, and also here we can add the confluence here. And this confluence is this key level here, which is a support zone because you can see the price being rejected from this zone here at this point and here at this point as well. So this is a good support zone. And this acts as a confluence for this candlestick pattern. So after these confirmations or adding the confluence you can see that the bearish trend got converted into bullish trend after the formation of this candlestick pattern i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them also don't forget to visit our website www.forexv.co in order to learn more about forex and price action see you guys in the next video thank you